Hey guys, Paint Snake back here again for another DVD and Blu-ray update for you guys today. It's been about two weeks since I did my last one, and yes, I am outside again, uh, because today I finally got a bed in my room. Uh, guys know I sleep on the floor, um, but I finally got a new bed now. Um, and, you know, just for the hell of it, I decided uh, to make this update outside today. Uh, you might see my little outside cat, little man or mama, around me today. I don't know. Unless the camera shy, but um, I don't have many things to talk about. There's some cool amount of stuff here to talk about. Um, got ten movies, eight Blu-rays, two DVDs, two movies I want to get rid of, but I want to review about them to you first. Let you guys know my opinion, but I'll let you guys know about the uh, ones I'm getting rid of. All right, so let's get started, shall we? So the first one here I got, I got this in the mail yesterday, um, and I I just got them watching it a few moments ago. This is a Vinegar Syndrome Blu-ray. I've been wanting to collect some of the Vin Vinegar Syndrome movies lately. But I got uh, Jack Frost here on Blu-ray. And no, not the Michael Keaton one. This is the horror comedy uh, Jack Frost. And I gotta say, um, you know, I, I couldn't find this one on, on Amazon. Cause I thought it was like limited or something. Um, but I found it on eBay um, for about $18. I think, I think it was only limited be um, if you get it with the... Uh, Slipcover. I think the slipcover was limited. I think you could still get the Blu-ray. I don't, um, because I, I know it came with a lenticular slipcover at once. Uh, it does have, guys, in case you guys want to know, it does have a versatile artwork cover. It's just, um, you know, I think it is, it's, you know, snowman's like a normal snowman, then it's a devil snowman. That's pretty much what it is. But, um, this movie, <laughs> you know, this, this one was kind of crazy. Yeah, this one was basically about, uh, this guy who's about to be executed, um, and he, uh, he ends up dying, um, I think he gets all this, like, some kind of, like, acid in his face or something, and he dies, and of course, uh, he ends up turning into a, a killer snowman, he, and he's going around, like, killing off people one by one, I don't know, this one was such a crazy movie, but it, I did enjoy this one, I mean, the first three, uh, Vinegar Syndrome Blu-rays I got, I didn't, they weren't the greatest, but, I mean, I, I, they were, I do appreciate having them in my collection. I think this is the best one I have in my collection so far. I do have another Vinegar Syndrome that I ordered that also came in the mail yesterday. I haven't watched it yet, that one yet, so you'll probably see that in the next update. I don't want to say what it what, what it is yet. Um, but, um, yeah, this is this was such a fun movie. I know, too, that there is a sequel to this. It's called Jack Frost 2, Revenge of the Killer Snowman, which is not out on Blu-ray, but hopefully Vinegar Syndrome also puts that out on Blu-ray. Um... I, I don't know if that's out of print or what. I don't, I don't know. I'm not going to get the DVD of that because I have a feeling, because, you know, all these cool, like, horror movies are coming out the blue right now. I have a feeling that Vinegar Syndrome might put that out as well. I don't, I don't know if they are, but, yeah. And that is Jack Frost on blue ray um, All right, this next one here. Now, I, I heard, I, Cool Dude talks about this movie a lot. Um, I know this is one of those ones. Um, it was out of print. Um, I know um, the only, it was only released on VHS. It had a DVD release in the Canada, but it was like in French. And they released the Blu-ray of this in 2017. But in a way, there's no Blu-ray release because I, I something about like um, it, got, it went out of print as soon as it was released or something. Um, uh, this is the, the French Canadian release. Um, I really wanted to see what this was, um, so I finally got it. I um, got it for about thirty-two dollars on eBay. Um, but this is the can French Canadian release of. The peanut butter solution here on a uh, Blu-ray. Give you a little bit of an in inside of what it looks like. Um, and, and like I said, this is the Canadian release, and I, I think it was originally a uh, a French movie, but it's it's dubbed in English. Um, it comes with the DVD and Blu-ray. It's kind of cool that it comes with the DVD because, like I said, it never came out the DVD. Um, from what I've heard. Um, uh, there's, you probably can't see it, but it's, uh, there we are. There, I'm doing this outside, I'm sorry. Um, it has some artwork in, inside the, uh, inside the case. It comes with a, I don't know if this was limited or what. Um, like, it comes with a booklet, like, it has, like, facts, well, not facts, but, like, pictures of the movie. Um, you know, I don't know, this, this one was a really weird, it's a weird movie, but it was fun. But the, the main idea is it's basically about a boy, a 11-year-old boy. His friend, um, um, 
tells him that this there was this house this fire that happened at this house this, and they go to the house that's burned up and something scares the crap out of Michael and um, the next day he wakes up and he's bald no explanation he's bald and uh, you know they they put this wig on him and you know, people, kids at school make, are making fun of him of that of course but um, one night there's these homeless people that they're they're ghosts I think it was people that um, died in the fire. They tell him that there's this way to get his hair back. It's, it's just peanut butter stuff. Like they, he has put like cat litter and uh, dead flies and spoiled food in, in this peanut butter. He has put it on his head, but if he screws it up, he, uh, his hair will, um, will grow, no, non-stop. And of course, that's what happens. He screw, screws it up, um, and his hair is, it just won't stop growing and. I don't know, this was such a crazy movie as well, but I absolutely enjoyed this, and I'm, I'm glad I have, to have this one on uh, in my collection, um, because, like I said, I heard this one out of print, and it, I mean, they were selling this on e eBay for like $32, so I mean, I don't know, blind buy, expensive, I had to get it, I'm glad I have it. Um, now I know what the movie is like, you know, um, or what it is. I mean, it was actually pretty cool, though. If you come across this, or if you come across the VHS, definitely get it. No special features on this one, just the, I think it's just the trailer and that's it. Um, yeah, but I highly recommend this one. Alright guys, this this one right here, this is one I'm going to get rid of. And my mom, this was, my mom originally bought this for herself. She watched it, she didn't like it, um, and I decided to give it a try. You know, I, I it was kind of creepy, but it's one of those movies where it, it's going to make you want to go crazy. Um, it's one of those movies. I don't, can't really explain it, but it's... It was such a strange, hard-to-explain movie. This was a movie that came out in 2017 called Mother, starring Jennifer Lawrence and what's it, Javier Bardem. Um, this was directed by um, the same guy who did uh, Black Swan, which I do like... I think I like Black Swan better than this. I mean, this was about a, mother, well, a woman, um, Jennifer Lawrence, and her husband, who... Is that he's an author. They move into this house, and these strange people are like moving into the house. Like, uh, what's his name? Ed Harris comes into the house, and I don't know. It's 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 hard to explain, but you know, these random people are coming into this house. They're like breaking in, in there and like stealing shit from them, and I don't know. It's 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 one of those movies where. Like, if you see this, you would know exactly what I'm talking about. Because it's, it's one of those movies where I was like, man, I, I don't know what I would do if this ever happened. It's one of those kind of movies. It's very strange, too. I did not really get what was going on. I was kind of confused. I, I even looked it up. I, I, I can't even figure out, still, what was going on exactly. Um, yeah, but this one I'm going to get rid of because I did not like this. Although I do like the cover of this one. It has a cool cover, but I just don't like this movie. Um... And special features on here you get is the making of Mother and the makeup effects of Mother. That's pretty much all you get. Um, yeah. Alright, so all right, this next one here. I know this one was out of print for a while. I've been wanting to get this for a while because uh, two certain movies are on here. Um, I know it was like, first on Amazon it was like 56 some dollars, but now I, I got this for 20 brand new. So I'm ha happy I do have this one now. Uh, but this was a six horror movie pack from Echo Bridge. Um, here on Blu-ray, and each disc, of course, it has three movies on here. Um, like, the, the only reason I wanted to have this was um, because of The Ginger Dead Man 3 and uh, Killjoy 3 are on here. Which I hope, you know, um, which, you know, the Killjoy movies, the only ones I really cared for was the first one, but, it, you know, I mean, I think the third one, as far as I know, is, is the only one available on uh, Blu-ray, and so is uh, Ginger Dead Man 3. You know, hopefully at some point, um, What's it called? Uh, Full Moon puts them out or something. I only care for the first uh, uh, Killjoy. That's pretty much it. Um, but, you know, um, it comes with a movie called Keepsake, Hoboken Hollow, 213, and Roman. Those I did not... Well, Keepsake... Um, I was kind of getting into that one a little bit, but then I fell asleep. From what I remember, it was like about a girl who gets stranded in... Sorry, but anyway. It's about a girl who gets stranded in the middle of the road. And this guy wants to help her, and of course he kidnaps her, and then he's torturing her in this barn. Hoboken Hollow, 
that one was alright. I can't re really remember what happened in that one. Killjoy 3, you know, that was about um, these group of people having this party, these teenagers having this party, and and they find this mirror, and they go, and I think it's when they, if they go in through this mirror, they see Killjoy, and Killjoy kills them in these bizarre ways. Uh, but I, I, I prefer the first one better. I think there's like four or five movies. I know there's like a fourth movie called Killjoy Goes to Hell. I, I think they made a fifth one at some point. I'm not sure. But Ginger Dead Man 3, that was like a knockoff to like uh, the uh, the Child's Play movies. It was about this uh, uh, this killer cookie. Um, well, basically, I haven't seen the first one, but I, I did see the second one, though. Which I know that it was about like this... Uh, it was Gary Busey who, who robs this uh, bakery. He ends up getting killed. I think from... From the, I think his blood gets into, like, the cookie dough or something, and he turns into a killer gingerbread cookie. But this one, however, um, I think he was in, like, an institution, and he ends up escaping. These these nerds are making this, like, uh, this machine where he can take him back um, back in time, and, of course, he goes back into, like, the 70s. It was basically, like, spoofing um, the original Carrie movie. Uh, but I, I do kind of like it. It's a, it's a crazy movie, though. 213, I didn't really care about. And Roman, I didn't really care about. But it's cool to have the set, because I do believe it was out of print, because it was expensive at first, for a while, on Amazon, for some reason. I don't know why it was. Alright, this this next one right here, this was a recommendation for, um, from someone at work. Um, they recommended me to watch this one. I got it for $5 at Walmart under $5 bin, and I loved it. Actually, pretty funny. I know there was two sequels, but from the looks of it, it looks like the first one's probably the best one. I do believe the second one's on Blu-ray, but the third one isn't. Uh, but this was the, um, the Ice Cube movie, uh, Friday, here on Blu-ray. And I always liked Ice Cube and, um, the Are We There Yet movies. That and Are We Done Yet, it's sequel. Um, but this is about, um, these guys and, um, Ice Cube and Chris Tucker, who are these gangsters in the hood. And, um, they end up smoking all this weed, and they have to pay this guy uh, two hundred dollars. And if they don't pay him by a certain time, he was they were gonna kill him. That's it's a, it's a funny like stoner like movie, but it's actually pretty cool. I I did kind of like this one. Um, and it says on here it's the director's cut, so it's but it says rated R on here, so I'm guessing it was a PG thirteen rated at once. I don't know exactly, but uh, what's his name is on here? Um. Um, who's that grandfather that played in, uh, Little Man? I forgot what it was called, uh, what his name was. I think it was John Witherspoon, I want to say. I could be wrong. Yeah, yeah, John Winters Witherspoon, that's who it was. Um, yeah, but he, 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 he's such funny in this movie. He was also funny in Little Man as well. And that is Friday on Blu-ray. Alright, uh, these next three, these are the last, um, the VeggieTale ones I got on Blu-ray. Um, I watched these, I, th um, I got the other three on Blu-ray, um, by, um, VeggieTales, Tomato Sawyer, Sawyer, and Huckleberry Larry's Big River Rescue. Um, this one was okay. Um, the only one I really cared for, which is this one, the Minnesota Cuke and the Search for Noah's Umbrella. I know there was another one that they did um, called Minnesota Cuke in the Search for Samson's Hairbrush. It was like a lesson about bullying, all that stuff. Um, but this is about um, that, that Mr. Lunt character who's like this, uh, who has like a twin brother or something. He's like after the umbrella for uh, Noah. I don't know, this, this one was a fun one as well. Um, and the other one I got was VeggieTales Mo and the Big Exit, which they said it on here. It was like a a sequel to that other one that they did, um, The Ballad of Little Joe, um, which was also, like, a VeggieTales, like, Western, like, one. I don't know. Um, you know, these VeggieTales ones, they're worth watching, I think, because I know, I think a lot of them have gone out of print at one point, um, so it's cool to have them. Alright, so now on to the DVDs. Finally got this one on DVD, and I always like the show. I don't care what people say. I know it's a girl show, but, uh, um, but I've always kind of liked it. I finally got it. Um, it's a shame that they didn't get to release the last season, but I, but I'm surprised uh, that they released so many of them, and surprised they were actually able to get, get them released in, like, stores, because I think by now, these wouldn't have, like, if the show was made now, this, they wouldn't have been out. They I think they probably would have been, like, a burn-on-demand, 
and I know like a lot of the Nickelodeon Burn On Demand ones are out of print, um, but this was iCarly, the complete fourth season here on DVD, finally got this one in my collection. Why did, why did I decide to get this one out? I don't know. But um, I got all the seasons except for season five, which is not released. I don't think I ever will. I might make a bootleg copy of season five. I don't know. But you know, this is this is one of the Nickelodeon shows I I, I love. Um, which, if you don't know the story, it's about um, you know Miranda Cosgrove. Which you know, I I went to a her concert that was in uh, the State Fair a long time ago, back in 2011. Um, you know, this is about a girl named Carly who does this web show. At like a couple of days a week, uh, with her friend Sam, played by Jeanette McCurdy, um, and it, it, it's like it's it's a, it's a web show that they do. Like they do just like comedic stuff, and um, you know the Gibby character. I don't know what Noah Monk. Like he he's like the star in these later seasons now, um, but this one has ten episodes. It's a two disc set. Um, no special fe. Well, the only special feature it has, um, which is it was five bo bonus episodes of the show that was on. Which I only think it went for like one season, which was Howl the Rock. Um, I know, I know the other the other um, Nickelodeon DVDs I want to get. Surprisingly, I don't even have it yet. I'm going to try to get them at some point. So I don't know when. Which is um, all the Victorious DVDs that they have out, which I believe they only have three out, like seasons one, volume one and two, and the complete second season. And that was it. Um, again, that's a shame that they never released the rest of them out. But uh, you know, what's a good start. Um, but hopefully, maybe, I don't know, Shout Factory could put these ones out, like a, like a complete series of this show and Victorious or something, I don't know. But hopefully they'll do a reboot, because I, I, I do, I did like, um, what they did with the Sam and Cat thing, it was like a, it's like a spin-off to like iCarly and Victorious, I, I, I did kind of like that. I know there was going to be a season two of that, um, but I, I don't know what happened, um. But I really hope that there could be, like, a reboot one day, because, like, that's the thing. Like, I, I miss these kind of, like, old, like, these old shows. Like, this, I mean, this show's been on since, like, 2007. That's when it started and ended in 2012. And, you know, it, it is kind of sad when these, you know, these, these old shows, they have they end. But, it, you know, I guess it is the way it is. But, um, yeah, that is iCarly Season 4 here on DVD. And the last one, this is the other one I'm going to get rid of. My mom, this is, again, this was another one my mom bought. She didn't like it, so I decided to watch it. I didn't like it either. Um, I think this was a Walmart exclusive at one point, a couple months ago. Um, this was the Toy Box. Um, not a really good one. It was about this family who um, was going to take a road trip on this RV to a uh, to the Grand Canyon. And, like, something is messing with them in the RV. There's, like, something in there that's, like, killing off people people one by one, and it turns out, you know, it's, it's like these ghosts are in, in this, uh, RV, I don't know, this one was okay, but I, I just got bored with it, I don't know, I didn't really care for this one that much, yeah, and that is it for, uh, this DVD and Blu-ray update, I'm um, sorry there's not much, but again, there's some cool stuff in here, in my opinion, um, that I talked, talked about, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, thanks for watching, and Saturday, I'm going to the movies, I'm going to see the movie The Intruder, so make sure you stay, Stay tuned for the review of that if I get to go. I'm pretty sure I can get to go. But anyway, stay tuned for that review. I'll see you guys later. Bye.